Elisha was a prophet. He had faith in God. God helped him do miracles. A miracle shows the power of God. The first miracle. One day, a woman came to see Elisha. She was crying. She told Elisha her husband was dead. She had to pay money to a man. If she did not pay the money, he would take her sons away. Elisha wanted to help the woman. He asked what she had in her house. She had a jar with some oil. Elisha told the woman to get more jars. He told her to pour oil from her jar into them. The woman obeyed Elisha. The oil from her jar filled all the other jars. That was a miracle. Elisha told the woman to sell the oil and pay the man. Her sons were not taken away. She was happy. The second miracle. Another woman and her husband asked Elisha to live in their home. They were old and had no children. Elisha told them they would have a son. They did not believe him. But they had a son. One day the son went to his father's fields. He told his father that his head hurt. The boy was very sick. His mother held him in her arms. He died. His mother put him on Elisha's bed. Elisha came in and shut the door. He prayed to God and touched the boy. The boy sneezed seven times and opened his eyes. He was alive again. The mother came into the room. She was happy her son was alive. God helped Elisha bring the boy back to life. That was a miracle. The third miracle. Naaman was a man from another country. He was very sick. He was a leper. He had sores on his body. His skin was falling off. Naaman came to Elisha to be healed. Elisha sent his servant to talk to Naaman. He told Naaman to wash seven times in the Jordan River. Then Naaman would be healed. Naaman was angry because Elisha did not come to heal him. He did not want to do what Elisha said. He started for home. Naaman's servants told him to obey the prophet. Naaman obeyed Elisha. He washed seven times in the Jordan River. He was healed. His sores were gone. He was not a leper anymore. That was a miracle.